So now another feature that we might want to go ahead and enable is OpenSSH. I'm pretty sure that's under the additional features and settings. So we're gonna go to system and I believe there is an optional features right here. Let's go ahead and open that up. And here you have all kinds of plugins and stuff. So right here under open SSH client. Oh, it looks like we already have it. That's good. Last time I did this, it wasn't enabled by default. I'm gonna close that out. We go over to services. Let's make sure it's running. Make this a little bit bigger here. We got a whole bunch of stuff. Most of it's probably garbage. So go down to the O's. This right here, the authentication agent, we're gonna to want to go ahead and enable automatic for that. Hit apply, start the service, and then hit okay. So now we can try to connect to this. We're gonna need our IP address. If you don't know the IP address of this machine, you can always open up the terminal, type in IP config. Here we are, so it's ending in 66. And we're gonna to check to make sure that everything's in there. So get service name SSH, hit enter. Ah, we don't have the server. Okay, let's let's make sure we have that. Go back to settings here. Optional features, add an optional feature. It just said open SSH, not server, ignore me. Open SSH server, next, add. All right, that's added. So now <laughs> go back to services. Sorry, nobody's perfect. Let's find. There it is, open SSH server. We want this startup to be automatic, start the service and apply the changes. Okay, and now if we go over here, beautiful. So now if we open up the terminal on our local system, we should be able to connect with SSH admin at the IP address. Hit enter, awesome. Key is not known, hasn't seen it before. It's our key, we know what it is, so we'll hit yes type in our password. So now we have SSH access in our Windows server. If you hit exit, you can go ahead and log out. And I'm pretty sure we could connect with just the host name as well. So WinNAS, sweet, cool, cool stuff. So that's how you can remote into it with SSH from other machines if that's something you would like to do. But adding that open SSH server also gave us access to SFTP, which is another way to connect and mess with the files. So let's make sure that works. SFTP dot dot forward slash forward slash. This is admin at, I think the host name will work with this. Not a hundred percent admin and then the password. Oh, there we go. Always trust this host continue. And now we got everything. Since we are the admin user, we can see everything. And I think to access the share, we can change the letter right here. So W get rid of that. And there we go. See, we have our data and Docker here. So now we have full access to all that under data. We can see the ISO that we uploaded earlier.